Hey guys, it's Will Patterson here with another Illustrator CC tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to create this text effect. The text effect you're seeing on screen just now is something that I'm working on with a client and it's not finished yet. I just thought I'd show you how to create the text effect I've got right now and that is the 3D sort of uh, cool looking effect here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and right inside. Now if you're wondering, this text effect is done within uh, Photoshop a lot of the time and it's a bit more difficult with an illustrator so I'm showing you right now today how I do it okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I've written my uh, text I'm going to go ahead and outline the live text object to make it into a shape object by pressing command shift and O I've done that okay now it's a group now the, the problem is we can't do much with this if it's a group because if you've had the same problem as everyone else on my channel is that you can't actually um, delete or use a pathfinder function minus front with a group because it leaves only one letter of that group when you're trying to delete stuff of it with the pathfinder function so the best way to do this is by pressing command 8 and what you'll see is that it'll go transparent um, and that's because we created a compound path now this is basically forcing your illustrator to feel like it's one path so when you delete anything from it, like this, if I were to do uh, a square, and I was going to go minus front it, it will delete everything like a square on here. But whereas if it was a group, and I put a square up, and tried to delete it, it would delete all the letters apart from one. Um, so that is why we use a compound path. So I'm going to go ahead and press Command 8, which will bring that into a compound path. Then I'm going to fill it with black again. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to press Alt and then I'm going to use the right arrow key once. And what that's done is that it's duplicated that whole sort of uh, design there, one to the right. So as you can see, I've got two now. I'm going to press Command Z to go back. But I've basically duplicated that layer. Now what we want to do is take your finger off the Alt key and then go ahead and just bring it down, right, down, right, down, right, down, right with the arrow keys uh, and just keep repeating that for a few seconds and this will give it a cool looking look and I mean we could, you know, you could just press command D um, but I like doing it this way because it's easier for me and that looks cool by me and I'm just sort of mixing it up now awesome and an easier way to see whether you're actually doing it right is by changing the color of the one that you're on. So I'm changing mine to green. Awesome, so that looks great. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna press Command and then the left bracket key, which will bring the green layer or the green to the back and the black to the front, which is what we want. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the uh, black inside logo and then go ahead and go to Object. And we need to go and create some space between uh, the back of the letters here. So the way to do this is by again going to object path um, offset path and I've got mine set to 2 but we're going to go up to 3 I think or 4 we'll do 4 for now press OK OK so that is our offset path and if I go hover over it you'll see that there's the actual letter path in the center. Do not click that yet because uh, it'll make it a lot more difficult the next thing we want to do is hold shift and go to the green uh, layer here and just click that. Now we're on that, I'm going to zoom out again and what we want to do is go to minus front and that will minus front it all and now the offset path is gone and the uh, we've just minus front the back of the letters which looks cool. The next thing you need to do is just click on the green, go to black and you've done it and that is how you do the text effect and then what you can either do is you can group them all together or you can go ahead and make them into a compound path and do whatever you want to do with them and that is how you create that within Illustrator so that's a transparent sort of look there and that is how you do it within Illustrator so I hope you guys understood if you didn't understand because I feel like I didn't explain everything that great but this is like the fourth time I've tried to make this video then go back on the video and see um, what I've done keep repeating the process and if you have any further troubles of it then just 
message me in the comments box down below and I'll uh, get back to you or someone from the channel will get back to you uh, and help you out. So I hope that helps you guys understand how to do it with an illustrator. It's a really cool text effect and yeah, it's just really cool to use. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.